this is our uh, yew tree and as you can see it's full of uh, pollen and I'm going to take a few samples of this uh, shake it practically on the slide and uh, add a little bit of water so they become transparent and study them under the microscope and let's see what we find so I've now taken the pollen sample I'll put it on the microscope slide I've added a little bit of water and let's turn this microscope on and look through the lens this is a bino viewer so I will see it bino vision but I wonder what you could fix then then no you might be able to fix then you know that yeah with the yeah. balsam uh, but with the balsam kind of the balsam well you could fix it but I was thinking of fixing that ingredient alcohol just make 50 75 and then 100 Mm. That's what we used to do. You can do it. to go a very long way and that henna could last years and the balsam should last years you know this is the stuff that's um, um, I'm going to think of quantities of it but you want to look at but you can look at all sorts of things And when I showed this slide, uh, the image that I take from this part of it, uh, to my wife, she immediately uh, pointed to this uh, um, pollen and something inside it. That is a dividing chromosome of a U3 pollen. <laughs> That's amazing. She was so clever. She showed it to me. They, they are at different stages of the division. And uh, this one was actually developed in very good way um, so uh, that is the reason the pollens are so numerous because they all the time are dividing and that's the reason because of the number of them they cause uh, you know interaction with our nose with our lungs uh, and uh, cause allergic reactions in us and this is one of those uh, one of those ways that they actually do this by number by sheer number of them